<laughs> How's the view up there? Why are you standing on the ground? Hey everybody, my name is Graham Avril. I write about adventure for REI's co-op journal. And like everybody else, I'm stuck at home. So I decided to turn an old swing set yes. into a climbing wall. I'm not a very good climber. I'm an even worse carpenter. So I figure why not combine these two mediocre skills into one project and see how it goes. So the materials that I'm gonna use, it's basically some plywood, some four by eight plywood, uh, two by fours for the actual frame, a variety of different hangers and fasteners, screws and nails, basically to put everything together. But today, I'm just gonna focus on building the actual frame for the wall. What you wanna do is you build a frame, uh, basically a box, and then you fill that box with studs that are 16 inches apart. All right, let's see if we can pick it up and carry it. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Yeah, there we go. Should've cut that branch down. There we go, okay. Whoo, mama. Okay. <sighs> okay, I got the uh, frame onto the structure, which was a little harder than I was hoping because nothing on the swing set was square. We even have our first climber. This is Thelma, our neighbor's cat. She couldn't even wait for me to put the rest of the wall up. She scaled it no problem. She's a daredevil. That's it for the day though. Uh, now it's time to drink a beer. Now it's time to set the marks where I'm gonna screw the holes for the T-nuts and the bolts. Some people will put in a random pattern of holes or you can do a grid pattern. I'm gonna do a grid pattern with each hole staggered at eight inches apart. It ends up being a lot of holes, like, uh, I don't know, 70 holes or something. So you need a lot of T-nuts. I'm gonna use a 7 16 inch drill bit to drill the holes. And what you wanna do is you wanna drill with the nice side of the plywood facing up. So you drill into the nice side because it's gonna create some trash on the back of each hole. It's not a big deal, but it just looks nicer if you drill through the top where you'll actually be doing the climbing. Okay, so I finished standing the plywood and I've drilled the holes for the T-nuts. Now it's time to actually hammer in the T-nuts, which go into the back of the plywood. And you see it's got these sort of four teeth that will grab hold of the back of the plywood and allow you to screw the hold and a bolt in on the other side. It's a cool system that works pretty well, but it's a little bit of work. Um, essentially, I've got a hammer, I don't know, roughly 70 of these into the back of this piece of plywood and then maybe 30 others into the other half of the plywood. Um, so I'm gonna get going. When you're building your own climbing wall, you can paint it, you can stain it. A lot of people will add sand to paint to give it sort of a rocky, sandy, rough texture, which is super cool. That's what most climbing wall gyms do. But I just wanted to keep it super simple and clean for this. Okay, the wall is up, the paint is dry, and now it's time to do the fun part, which is actually setting the climbing holds. I'm gonna be using two different kinds of holds. The first is a bolt-on hold, which is what you find at most climbing gyms. And these are cool because you can move them around and set different routes depending on what you're going after. But I'm also gonna be filling in with some less expensive screw-on holds, which are just good filler, and they actually make really good foot placements as well. Well, that's it. The wall is up, the holds are on. I'm sure gonna keep rearranging the holds as I continue to climb this thing. But right now, I'm just gonna enjoy the hard work that I already put into this thing. Now it's time to climb. I'm really happy with the end result. I've been climbing for about an hour on it. It's super fun. Can't wait to get my kids out here so that they can check it out as soon as they're done with their uh, schoolwork. And we're gonna climb together as a family. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> That's pretty good, Cooper. All right, Adam, let me see you climb up. 